Uh, my talk is physics design of photo neutron source based on 15 MeV electron Linux accelerator and its application. My name is Wang Hongwei. On behalf of Reactor Physics Division of TMSR and Nuclear Physics Division. The first, I will give a requirement of nuclear data for TMSR. And the second, I will give Monte Carlo calculation and neutron target. Then, I will give a detection system. Finally, the summary. The requirement of nuclear data for TMSR. High accuracy efficient cross-section data for some urium, uh, for some thorium and urium isotopes are important for the development, development of thorium and urium cycles for energy production. High accuracy neutron capture cross-section are needed to address some still open questions in fundamental reactor physics and nuclear astrophysics. Precise measurement of neutron cross-section are of importance for the safety design and nuclear reactor design. The scheme of the thorium and urium cycle. Here is the main chair. Uh, from thorium 232 to urium 233 is the main cycle. The most important key channel in this cycle are bit, bit decay and gamma decay. The cross section related with the most important reactions must be located in a good precision in order of few percent. But many of these show larger discrepancies or larger uncertainty. For example, for thorium n gum capture reaction, it shows that the discrepancy among the data published is around 20 to 30 percent, sometimes for neutron energy above uh, 50 keV. Some new data have been corrected by accurately measured recently. The nuclear protecting Protactinium plays a key role in the thorium cycle and as a precursor to the long-lived physical nucleus urium-233, the half-life of the Pa nuclei is 27 days, is rather long. It opens up, opens a possibility to capture neutrons in the reactor. So far, no re reliable data exists all was available for the cross-section of this rea reaction. Moreover, this data at some energies differs by almost a factor 2. I show some other related nuclei, for example, fuel, salt, and reactor poison and control rod. Details of the key nuclear data in TMSR, the nuclear data lags and the nuclear data difference, and some nuclear data need to be updated. How to solve this method? Improve the evolutionary method and improve the equipment and improve the measuring method. Here we can see uh, the experiment have, uh, still have big difference and larger errors for some uh, for urine and thorium, uh, ingam and in fission reaction. The way to produce neutrons accelerator based neutrons. Source are used in most keys. So we focus on the electron accelerator neutron source. This picture shows the top facility in the world. From this table, we found the photo neutron source is a powerful tool to produce intense path neutrons. It is effective for measuring energy dependence cross section with TOF technique. And the energy range from the thermal neutrons to a few tens of MeV. And you know, no photo photo neutron source be used in China. The principle of photo neutron source, electron bomb the target with which made by heavy element, countries produced through gram trying reaction. Then neutrons emitted from target by gamma reaction. Here I gave a Formula empirical formulas calculates the neutron flux. Neutron yield is a function of electron energy for different elements. So there are the can candidate urine and tensor lead, a tantalum and gold. Electron energy above 30 MeV, neutron yield approaches a saturated value. Here, 
our consideration of nuclear date measurement priority. So first, we will start study the thorium-232, and then we will be study the urium-233 from thermal neutral energy to slow neutron energy. Our plan for nuclear cross-section measurement, our measurements for two to an resonant cross-section from thermal to slow neutron, dividing two steps. First step, we will use a 50 MeV electron Linac accelerator produce neutron. This facility will be located at Yadin campus thin up, and the neutron air about 10 to 11 neutron per second, and the top pass about 5 meter. Second, uh, we will have a fast neutron facility. The neutron air will be uh, will be to 10 to 11 neutrons per second, and the top pass about 10 to 50 meter. Why choose 15 MeV electron Linux as a driving facility? Produce wetlet neutrons for the required neutron cross section related with TMSR at thermal and slow neutron energy. Preparing technique for building high energy electron Linux accelerator and study irradiation effect of neutron and gum on TMSR materials and the detectors. The advantage of our 50 MeV electron Linux accelerator drives the new, uh, a photon neutron source. Build up a 50 MeV accelerator in a short time based on our prior electron Linux technique will be easy to extend it to high energy. Exists a suitable neutron hole, experiment hole, so we save time but space limited. Comparing with other neutron source for CT based on the electron Linux, here is our SYNAP1 uh, first phase. We will use a 15 MeV electron energy. And the, and the target, we will use the tungsten and the tantalum. The pulse frequency from 10 to 2, 3, 200. 33, 266 pulse width from 3 nanosecond to 3 microsecond, and the top pass will be from 1 meter to 5 meter. The neutron air about 0 0.4, 10 to 13 neutrons per second. Second part is the Monte Carlo calculation. Here, we show the neutron source strength calculated by MCMP. Uh, we use uh, 15 MeV electrons plus target. The target, the target is the tungsten and the tantalum, tantalum target. And here is the neutron yield and the photon yield. Neutron yield calculated by MCMP for beam pore. And at uh, 2 kW and 7.5 kW. Neutron and the photon flux at 19 degree uh, related to, relative to electron beams. Here we use the 15 MeV electrons plus tungsten target. And we measure the neutrons and the photons at 0 0.5 meter and 5 meter top pass. So we can get the neutron flux about 10 to 5 neutrons per second per centimeter square. The neutron spectrum with a different moderator. After moderated neutron energy spectrum extended from the uh, 1 MeV to the thermal neutron energy. Neutron target selection. In the region of 15 to 20 MeV, no significant difference between tungsten and the tantalum target. Tungsten and the tantalum target is one of the good candidates, respectively. This picture shows the uh, physics parameter of the element tungsten and the tantalum. Here is the density and the melting point, young modulars, and the thermal conductance. 
Tensor have very high melting points and high ion modulus. Tensor target thermal conductance is the three times of the tensor lamp, so it can be easy cooled. So we will choose the tensor as the target of the photoneutron source. This picture shows the thickness and the diameter that with the uh, tensor target, the thickness at the six, at four to six centimeter, the neutron yield abridges the saturated value, and the diameter at the seven, at the five to seven centimeter, the neutron yield abridges the saturated value. The tensor target set with the five centimeter length and the six centimeter diameter is selected. Selection of the target mode. Here we use the plate shaped target for high power beam and the hole target for low power beam. The tensor target can work on normal cooling condition at the five, at the seven point five kilowatt power beam power, and the cooling water speed is a 3 meter per second, and the target for tungsten and the tent lab A target temperature about uh, 1,000, and uh, this target about 3,000. So for the tungsten storm, the target melting point is reach the uh, Target melting point and the maximum maximum temperature of cooling water about uh, seventy degree. So when the water speed at three meter per second, tungsten target not reach the boiling point of cooling water. But target temperature is the melting point of target. When water speed at the same speed, tensor, tensor target not reach the boiling point of cooling water. So the tensor target is a good choice at cooling water speed uh, 3 meter per second. Outlet of Tensor target for two kilowatt power. Uh, the electron beam is fifty MeV, and the beam power is two kilowatt. Beam size at uh, a four centimeter. Simulation with the purity tensor target and copper cooling base plus the aluminum shell. Uh, by ANSYS code calculation. The tungsten target diameter about 6 cm and the length of 4.8 cm. The condition of the cooling water inlet water temperature about 25 degree. And the speed, speed, water speed at uh, 1 MeV per second. So we can get such result. 15 MeV electrons at the 2 kilowatt beam power. At the room temperature, the water speed at 1 meter per, per second. The temperature of water and the corporal surface is about 61. A degree temperature difference in inches and excess water is less than one degree. So we can cool in tungsten target safely at two kilowatt and seven point five kilowatt. This picture shows the layout of experiment setup of photo neutron source at CNAF. This part is electron Linux. And this part is the neutron target. This part is the experiment zone.
we use the TOF, TOF technique to measure the neutron energy. So the particle beam bombarded the target, and we measure TOF from the target to the experiment sample position. TOF measurement, uh, the start signal, we have three measures, three measures to get the start, start signal. Uh, first, we will use the uh, high frequency signal from Linux, it's a pulse uh, electron. Then we will try other method. Neutron and gamma detector for primary measurement. We have such detectors, for example, helium-3 proportional tube and liquid scintillator. So it can cover the whole energy range and can be used for neutron spectrum and flux measurement. At the same time, we also have a plan to build some larger detector array, for example, neutron TOF detector array and a gum detector and TEM projection chamber. Experiment play. First, we will test and calibration for neutron source, measure the flux of neutron and gamma rays near the target size, and energy spectrum of neutron and gamma. And gamma. Then, calibrate the detector and efficient measurement. Second step, we will that neutron data measurement to check our neutron source with gold target and measure the thorium-232 in total and in gamma cross-section at resonance energy region. Then we will measure the urium-233 in total and in gamma cross-section at resonance energy region. And finally, we will start some neutron electric scattering and other cross-section study. The main purpose of data measurement be focused on the total cross-section and the capture, capture re reaction in 15 MeV photon, uh, photon neutron source. Experiment set up for in, to in total reaction, we use a transmission method, measures neutron emitted at zero degree by the neutron detectors. Here is the neutron beam inches from this side, and here is the collimator, and this is a sample. This is a neutron detector. Experiment set, set out for N-gam reaction, neutron beam, and recoil proton detectors, gamma detectors. Finally, I will give you a very simple summary. Einstein target is the best choice for our first phase 15 MeV photoneutron source. And we can cool in Einstein target safely at 2 kV and 7.5 kV. The main purpose of the data measurement be focused on the total cross section and the capture reaction in 15 MeV photoneutron source. Here is the collaboration members, including the nuclear physics division, reactor physics division, and uh, electron Linux accelerator re reactor safety division. And uh, some other people come from the Coleman office. So thanks for their help. Thank you, Dr. Wong. OK, now any questions or comments? Can I say, it's, it's obvious that we really need these measurements. Can you explain why they can't be done at a reactor or a spallation source and why you have to make your own neutron source to do it? Can you explain to me how you do time of flight with a reactor? You, you can measure energies. Yeah. <laughs> our electron photo, photo neutron source uh, based on our electron Linux, for, uh, Linux accelerator is uh, very important machine in our institute. 
And finally, we can use this uh, neutron source to do some irradiation uh, experiment with uh, uh, reactors materials. I have another question. Did, did you, I would be interested in knowing how this uh, neutron facility compares to the CERN uh, NTOF facility in terms of uh, energy resolution and uh, spectrum, etc. Where is the NTOF from CERN? In the okay, NTOF here, I'll be sure. Okay. This NTOF is used as a proton spallation uh, beam, and the beam is about uh, 20,000 MeV, and they use the lead target. So they give very high uh, neutron flux. And uh, what about the uh, energy resolution in the? Uh, yes, yes, Here, the neutron uh, resolution at uh, one MeV. Uh, uh, our first uh, step, uh, the neutron resolution about uh, percent one at one MeV. If no less, thank Dr. Again, Dr. Wang again.